money matches, I feel like money matches benefit players, even though they don't do them as much nowadays, but I feel like money matches benefit players in terms of confidence, uh, in terms of learning, and when, you money, when your own money is on the line right in front of you, like right on right on the arcade, it's a whole nother feel, you know, you know, a whole nother pressure, and most people, a lot of people are watching money matches too, more than your tournament matches, so it's a whole bunch of pressure, um, and then when you do money matches with people who, who uh, do money matches like then when you do uh, highly anticipated money matches uh, the pressure's on and makes you it makes you focus more it makes you think about situations in different in a different light than you would in a tournament like me versus Crow I played him at I actually I beat him at Evo uh, Evo Seven and then you know everybody's pop and jump that oh it was a fluke blah 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 I said all right so when you come down to B time let's let's see what's good play me at B time for money first of five and uh, and I played him and the pressure was on because I was like you know. You know, they, I, most people, like, most people on TZ would think uh, he would beat me because East Coast back then in DR, you know, we had, it was hard for us to get our name out. So we couldn't travel as much, and I was younger back then, so I couldn't travel as much as I wanted to. So it was definitely on me that I had, I had to beat him. It was, I had to beat him more than he had to beat me. So I made sure I took care of him. You know, first of five, but uh, I think the score was like five to three, maybe five. Two. And you know, I beat him. In, it's on YouTube. Check it out. Bad vs. Bad vs. Pro. Trash talking, um, I think the way trash talking affects the community, I think even more the way um, trash talk affects the gaming community in general is it makes it more competitive. That nigga look like ass, he played like ass, my nigga. That's what I mean, I don't know. There wasn't that great of a turnout. I mean, I, I was going, I thought he was going to win anyway, but the top 10, half the people in top 10 would never play so, with like solid players. I don't know why SoCal talk so much shit when NorCal's better than them. Niggas need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, hey, Sukin is real ass. You don't want to play me for money, yo? Come on, man. Look at him, so yo. There's only one person in SoCal that's good, and that's it. And that's NYK. And I, yeah, I said it, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck them niggas, nigga. Like, if you're playing just to play, it's not as fun. You feel like, it just feels like you're always playing casual. You play on Xbox, you know. The thing that makes people want to play is trash talk. Like, you know, it makes you feel like, you know what, you ass. This, this, and that. I can beat you. This, this, and that. Uh, it makes a person want to. It makes a person want to train more. It makes them want to compete more. Trash talk definitely makes the community, the game community as a whole, better. It makes it makes tournaments pop up. You know, money matches, all those, all those things. It affects a lot. Uh, I feel West Coast. I feel like they're solid. You know, we we West Coast and East Coast. We pop shit back and forth. But I feel like they are solid. I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, you know, Nabs, uh, Kane, and YK and such, they're pretty solid. Both, both SoCal and NoCal, they're, they're solid in their own ways. Uh, but I don't like how, I don't like how the TNC community caters to West Coast. Like, they think they're on so much a better level than any other state, and it's not like that. I, I just, I don't think it's like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, TC, since it's more of like a West Coast, it's more of a West Coast form, and it's even SRK, you know, everybody caters to West Coast, it's like, we're just as good as them, if not better, you know what I'm saying, we proved it in money matches before, you know, we, we just have to get, Evo, I think the best way to prove it now, with all the shit talk that's going on, I just want to stop it, I haven't told shit in a while to West Coast, because I'm just waiting, I'm waiting for Evo 2010, that's going to show the Coast is better. Um, Another region, uh, another region besides East Coast and West Coast that's uh, very solid and uh, has a good community is uh, ATL. ATL, ATL is considered East Coast, but they're more South. You know, they're considered South in Texas, but um, I feel ATL, I feel ATL is real solid. And that's, that's another coast besides us that you know they haven't gotten a lot of opportunities to travel like that. We travel more so East Coast to South, East Coast to South, and um, in DR they're gonna probably travel a lot. More and to get their name out there. Um, good players from there from DR was like, you know, Anakin, uh, Clint, Wing Zero. Uh, Me Red was pretty solid. I didn't get a chance to play him or play back in DR days, but from what I've seen, they're real solid. They're going to be a threat in uh, DR. Uh, in tournament between Japan and Korea, uh, I would rather play. I would rather play Japan because I feel like Korea is more solid, but I feel like I would rather play Japan because there's so many people play in Japan. There's so many more players in Japan, there's so many more arcades, so many different styles to learn from. Uh, the community as a whole, I would rather play there. One of my favorite Tekken players is definitely uh, Old Man. 
and then I do like the Koreans more than the Japanese. Uh, I like their style. And like Old Man, he used, he's used so many different characters, so many different styles. I, I watched a lot of his videos, Old Man, and, and uh, Five Point on DR. I was Steve. My main was Steve. Uh, through Five Point on DR all the days, and I used to love Nick. I used to watch Nick videos all day, nonstop. So Nick, probably Nick is Old Man. Um, I think something that's very important for new players, that a lot of new players don't want to learn, that's the biggest downfall, is actually learning the fundamentals instead of learning the character-specific uh, strats. That's a, that's a big downfall with a lot of uh, new players. They don't, they don't worry about their spacing, their punishing, um, you know, breaking controls. Learning how to sidestep every character. The basic fundamentals is what a new player should worry about before the character specific thing. Once they learn that and uh, they get more solid with that, they should go, they should learn more about the character, learn the specifics. Like for example, a machine. Like a new player who starts out with a machine, they only worry about electrical and electric all day, wave dash things. They don't worry about, you know, how do you punish this move, how do you punish that? And that's one of the biggest things uh, a new player should learn about.